So I have already prepped everything that is going into the pot. I got my instant pot started. The water is boiling. That's perfect. And uh, I got my chicken feet. These are chicken feet. And again, they are great for, what's that thing, collagen? Uh, so I roasted them before I put them in the, in the in the pot. I also got my bones roasted. They look like I want to eat them. <laughs> but yeah, but this is how to activate the collagen and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop everything in. As you can see, the oils have already melted out of the bones. And that's amazing. So I'm not going to throw away the oils. I will pop them right in. My pot is looking small. You want some to eat? <laughs> yeah? Whenever you were doing it, I was like, try to eat some. Thank you. It's very oily. So get uh This is like the middle of the carrot. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so just finish it in Mukubakisha. So I'm putting all the oil in there. Chicken feet. I feel like I may have chopped a lot of stuff to go in there. This pot is not going to be enough. So maybe I'll just put half of what I chopped. So some ginger in there. Some car oops, careful. Some carrots. These are green onions. Some celery. Gonna go in there too. Whoa, I chopped a lot. Um, some hot pepper. The last time I made these, I thought I put enough hot pepper, but I kept always adding some hot pepper to to the one I was drinking. So today I'm putting a lot. It's sliced a little bit before it goes in. Curry leaves. garlic you just slice it halfway and you don't need to remove the, the skin an onion I'm gonna put half of it because this pot is not gonna be enough I also um, cut some shallot onions those are very good for flavor and pepper need to get more salt I'm going to gently push that in if I can this is too much you should never put this much it's already smelling good so I'm going to set my pot to four hours since this is a pressure cooker it doesn't need to cook for 12 um 12 hours but if you're using a crock pot then you will leave this overnight for 12, 12 hours or more if you want so i'm going to um cancel the setting i had and manually set four hours then that will be ready once that is ready, I will take out the broth and put it away and I will reuse those ingredients as they are and add some water in it and, and maybe salt and pepper and make another batch because you can reuse and make another batch. As you can see from this batch that I made that I have some that is darker than the other. So these ones are the first batch and then when i redo this is after the second batch you will see some a lighter color and some a darker color they're still all good for use and this is me showing you how it looks like when 
it has cooled down this is how i enjoy it from frozen i put some in a cup in the microwave and warm it and enjoy it very yummy i tell you that